Hi readers! Today we're going to read The Giving Snowman, written by Julia Zhang and illustrated by Graziella Milligan. Do you have your comfiest PJs on like me? Okay, let's go! Oh, we're going to learn all about this snowman. And make sure you've got your best listening ears on like always, because there's a pop quiz at the end. Okay. One snowy evening, Snowman stands alone in an open field. His eyes and mouth are made of little pebbles. His nose is a carrot, and he has two sturdy sticks for arms. He wears a big hat and has a thick scarf wrapped around his neck. A bird stops in front of Snowman, looking worried. What's wrong, dear bird? asks Snowman. The snow is too heavy. Our nest has fallen down. My babies and I have lost our home. Don't worry, bird. You can have my hat. It's big enough for you and your family. Thank you so much, says bird, and off she flies with it. A rabbit stops in front of Snowman, looking worried. What's wrong, dear rabbit? asks Snowman. The snow has covered the whole ground. My family doesn't have any food to eat, and we're very hungry. Don't worry, rabbit. You can have the carrot from my face, so your family will have something to eat tonight. Thank you so much, says rabbit, and off she hops with the carrot. A farmer stops in front of Snowman, looking worried. What's wrong, dear farmer? asks Snowman. Our house is very cold. I need to light the fireplace for my family, but we don't have any wood left. I only found some coal. Don't worry, farmer. You can take the sticks from my body and use them to start a fire for your cold family. Thank you so much, says farmer, and off he goes with the sticks. A traveler stops in front of Snowman, shivering. What's wrong, dear traveler? asks Snowman. I forgot to bring a winter coat before I left for my long journey. I have walked a long way and I'm freezing. Don't worry, traveler. You can take the scarf from my neck to keep you warm. Thank you so much, says traveler, and off he goes with the scarf. The next day, the snow stops and the sun comes out. Snowman starts to melt. Soon, he only has a little of his body left. Bird, rabbit, farmer, and traveler come back to visit Snowman. Oh no, cries Bird. The kind Snowman has melted, says Rabbit. We must do something, says Farmer. To repay his kindness for helping us, agrees Traveler. The four of them work as a team to rebuild Snowman. Traveler stays and builds Snowman's body with large balls of snow. Rabbit hops to the woods to look for two sticks. Farmer goes back to his farm to get a carrot. Bird flies to the pond to pick up some pebbles. When Traveler finishes building Snowman's body and head, he uses the carrot Farmer brought for Snowman's nose, the sticks Rabbit found for his arms, and the pebbles Bird collected for his eyes and mouth. Then Traveler wraps the scarf around Snowman's neck and takes off his own hat, putting it on Snowman's head. Snowman is back and he is very happy. Thank you so much for rebuilding me says Snowman with a smile. Of course, Snowman. Thanks to you, my babies and I had a new home last night, says Bird. Thanks to you, my family had food to eat last night, says Rabbit. Thanks to you, my family was warm last night, says Farmer. Thanks to you, I made it home to my parents last night, says Traveler. Snowman smiles. Thanks to all of you, I'm back to being a snowman. I will always offer help when others need it. Everyone nods in agreement, and they became good friends with the giving snowman. 
Okay, did you have your very best listening ears on throughout the story? It's time to see if you can answer our listening comprehension questions. First up, who were the main characters in our story today? Do you remember everyone? Yes, of course, our snowman was in the story. And who did our snowman meet first? Yes, there was a bird. And then there was a bunny. Terrific. And after the bunny, we met the farmer. Good. And after the farmer, we met the traveler. Nice listening. Okay, question two. What did the bunny, oh, let's do the bird first. What did the bird need from the snowman and why? Yes, the bird wanted the snowman's hat because the bird's nest fell out of the tree. The snow was just so heavy that it took the bird's nest away and it needed a new nest for its family. All right, question number three. What did the bunny need and why? Hmm. If you said carrot, you are correct. Yes, the snow had covered the ground and made it hard for the bunny and their family to find food. So the snowman generously said, you may have my nose and eat the carrot so your family does not go hungry tonight. The bunny needed the carrot. All right, and next up we have the farmer. Do you remember what the farmer needed from the snowman? He said, sticks, you are correct. Why did the farmer need the snowman's stick arms? Yes, because he needed to light a fire in his home for his family. So he used the sticks for firewood to keep them warm. Excellent. And what did the traveler need from the snowman? He borrowed the snowman's warm scarf. Very good. He was cold from a long day of traveling and needed the scarf to keep him warm. Excellent. All right, now what happened the next day? But the sun was out. What happened to our friend the snowman? <gasps> oh no, he was starting to melt. The sun was out and it got hot. And what happens to snow in the hot, hot heat? Yes, the snowman started to melt. So, last question. This is a tough one. What did each character build or gather to help the snowman? Let's start with the birds. Okay, our bird in the story. What did the bird gather? The bird gathered pebbles to put on the eyes and the mouth. Very good. All right, and what did the bunny gather? The bunny went into the woods and gathered the sticks so we could put the snowman's arms back on. Very good. All right, and the farmer, how did the farmer help put the snowman back together? He went to his garden and got a carrot so we could replace his nose. Excellent. And then what did the traveler do? He rolled all those snowballs back together and built the body of the snowman back big and strong and even put another hat on his head. Very good. All right, friends. Well, I hope you enjoyed this beautiful story and that you come back and read with me again soon. Bye-bye.